Sometimes I really have difficulty acknowledging that like, this is my life. Sawadee Khatukon, je m'appelle Axel and I'm a French woman living in Bangkok, Thailand. Today, a short, sweet and cute video about the time I went to three stores by Thai actors. The three actors being Tetawan, Ganatapan and Arm with Ayut. I had the pleasure to go to all of their stores. I'm gonna tell you the process. I will apologize, I don't have much videos of it. I'm very, very awkward about filming in front of others. Especially if I'm filming like a store or something. I just feel so fucking awkward and here even more because I feel like an awkward fangirl. It's just, it's a lot. So I tried my best to capture as much as possible. And I also have to put this disclaimer, I went to these places so long ago. Anyways, let's get started. The first place I saw was not in Bangkok, it was in Chiang Mai. And it is the Looper Wave Cafe in Chiang Mai by Theta One. So the Looper Wave Cafe is very, 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 very special, okay? It is in a sort of a guest house. So Theta One created his guest house. And if I am not mistaken, this is also where some of his family members. So his grandma, may she rest in peace. I actually went to the cafe and the place like I think a couple of weeks before she passed away. But uh yeah, and also I know, I think it's Tez's uh, sister, cousin, like a lot of family members live in that guest house and take care of that guest house. And so it is really, really fucking cool because I literally went there and I know T and Off and Gun and many people have come to this place. I have pictures of Off and T in the pool of that guest house and I saw it. I walked by the pool. Like it was so... It is such a special experience to be able to witness an, a, a place that you only saw in stories where some of your favorite people on earth have been, you know? It, it just, my fangirl heart was very happy. And the guest house is really beautiful. It's a really, really nice place. Honestly, if I go back to Chiang Mai, I might like stay there. Why not? Imagine, oh my God. Imagine I run in and Tute at that moment, like, ah! So yeah, it was just like really, really a nice place. But finding that cafe was a struggle, okay? They have indication there's so much on the premise. Like there's so much going on. And so they are indicating where the cafe was, but I just couldn't find it. So literally I was with my friend who's uh, Malaysian and <laughs> some people will think that my Malaysian friend is Thai. Obviously looking at me, they're not gonna think I'm fucking Thai, right? So they would talk in Thai to her and every time I would reply <laughs> myself because she doesn't speak Thai, I do. So there was this uh older woman in the pool who was like, oh, the, are you searching the cafe? And I was like, Shaira. <laughs> then she told us, oh, it's this way and everything. So I had to get inside. It was kind of weird to get to the cafe. And then we get inside. It's a really, really cute cafe. Very small, but like really, really like it has its own aesthetic. I think I've talked about uh like Thai cafes before. They are a sleigh, okay? Um, and this one was no exception. I was able to see the projector. So we have seen a lot of people on social media from T, from Off, from Gun, from so many people uh, at Looper Wave Cafe uh, in front of a screen projection. And I took these pictures. I sat on the bench. They sat on Bestie. Uh, come on. Like, ah. Uh, <sighs> so nice but I gotta say and this is not me being shady the uh servers were really rude and honestly I've rarely ever had a bad customer experience in, in Thailand I think uh service people here are just so fucking nice and so fucking polite this was the first time like it was rude but also I was not in the best mood that day I don't know what was going on let's give them the benefit of the doubt but yeah I was a bit shocked because I was like oh my god this is like so different from what I would have imagined you know from Theta One who's like like the nicest person ever so anyways apart from that the Thai tea was really good there um and it was a nice cafe a bit overpriced especially for Chiang Mai but uh, it's fine you know cafes nowadays they are very very expensive anyways and yeah it was just a really nice place like the details are beautiful 
And I just was so happy being able to be there, you know, like it's, it's just a, such a surreal experience. It was definitely worth it. I would really recommend anyone who's in Chiang Mai to go there and try it out. It's a bit further than Chiang Mai, so it's a bit hard to go there, but you just take a bike or you take a grab taxi and you'll be there in no time. And it's not very expensive. So yeah, I would recommend it. And the, the place in itself is very, original so that's what i love most is that just not the cafe in itself is nice but the fact that it's inside the guest house with the pool where often they swam and like it's just so nice you know it's really really different and i really liked it next we have awc studio so awc is a store it's not a cafe it's by amri dayut um and it is located in the asok neighborhood and so that day i was just i don't know what i did that day but i'm i walked so much and it was so hot and i was dying i was like let me take myself out on a date and i just walked around and i arrived in front of gmm tv building and it was really nice because at the time to serve we love what was airing and i was watching it and there were like posters of it outside um, and it was really nice to say the GMM Grammy logo and everything but I didn't go inside and I'm kind of glad I didn't I don't know I felt really awkward going inside I don't know why I think if I was with a friend I would have done it but because I was alone I was like oh, this is too awkward I don't like this at all so I didn't go inside but apparently I didn't miss much because apparently the GMM TV shop inside the building is not that good I've heard a lot of people are disappointed by it so yeah uh, i'm not like I, I don't feel like i missed out that much so yeah i just walked around and then i arrived to awc studio uh this was really hard to find like it was really really hard to find this uh this building because first of all the store uh spoiler is very very small like it's i don't know maybe 10 meter squares or something like very very small but also it was hidden in sort of like a, a complex of stores and it was really hard like i spent so much time trying to find it and then i found it and <laughs> the store is so cute the store is so cute and aesthetic like it's so beautiful i have a selfie i took of myself in the mirror but it was really fucking awkward because there's only one store clerk there and basically because the store is so fucking short like it, it's the smallest store i've ever been to like i felt so awkward because obviously i'm gonna be a fan i think like only fans come there right so it's awkward and i tried to speak in thai and i was asking i wanted uh it was a few months after the land of something ex vermilion collaboration between of jumpun and obniti and i really wanted this collaboration i really wanted those shirts okay i wanted those hawaiian shirts so fucking bad more than anything but they literally launched the collection like two weeks before i arrived in thailand which is a hate crime i am very mad about this thank you um and so i was like wondering like oh can i find this collection so i asked her like oh do you have land of something in thai in thai besties i humiliated myself and then she's like oh yes here but i it was the old uh it was the newest collection which i didn't love that much it was the the <laughs> kind of covid adjacent like viruses uh, i didn't love it as much and it was also a long sleeve shirt and i'm like i live in bangkok like I, i'm never gonna wear that even in paris i don't wear a lot of long sleeve shirt i i wear sweatshirts so i was just like i don't want this um and so then i saw like folded i thought those were the shirts from the land of something x vermilion collab and it was not it was from the new collab but it was a black the black version of the shirt but it looked folded it looked like this so i asked her oh can i see these and it's i again everything is i best see and she's like oh no it's the same it's the i look so like such a fucking goddamn fool bitches like so i was like oh <laughs> and i left like a fucking dumb as bitch so i stayed in total not even five minutes in the store but it's such a cute store like really really cute i saw the place where arm takes selfies like it was just so fucking cute this store is really really cute but uh really hard to find and really small and i humiliated myself which is 100 percent my fault and so now i will never show up there again like i'm scared <laughs> I'm genuinely scared, but I just find it so cute that I've just put his collection in Arm Studio. Like, ah, uh, so cute! I love them. I love friendship. And then we have the last store for today. We have Gun Atapan's Last House on the Right. 
So this is a cafe that he launched while I was in Thailand. So he launched it pretty recently. And I went there with a friend because I was in the Sapan Kwai area. So uh, this one is very far, very, very far from the center of uh, Bangkok. And it's in a station that not a lot of people go to. But then uh, that day, I was going to be in Sapan Kwai with my friend because we went to her friend's exhibition at a gallery. And so I was like, girl, if we're going to be there, like, let's go. You know, that was my one chance. And fun fact, I also went to Sapan Kwai again with another friend randomly and I also showed her the stores. So yeah, we went to the store and it's not that hard to find. Like from the BTS, it's like the first street, but it's really the last house. It's really the last house on the right, bestie. So you have to go all the way down in the alley. So the first level is a shop. So really nice with a lot of aesthetic things, a little like really, really cute things. And I uh, bought, um, I bought a key, a key thingy. How this go? Porte clé en anglais. A key ring. Okay. I guess it's a key ring. Um, yeah. So I bought a key ring there. That's really cute. That's this N in of course, green. I chose the green color because I'm a baby. Mm -hmm. And so I just like, I bought that. Um, but apart from that, like everything was quite expensive. Like it's fancy shit. We all know Ganada Pan, the fashion icon. Like let's be for real. Okay. That's some hipster fancy shit. Um, and then you go upstairs and it's a cafe that's like very, very small, but super well decorated, super cute. Like very, very aesthetic again. I again took so many fucking pictures. <laughs> I did a photo shoot. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it was really nice. I did spill my iced chocolate on myself. <laughs> it was really embarrassing. Because it's so small. I would say the only flaw of that place is it's so small. Like that time it was very, very crowded. The first time I went there. The second time there was almost no one. So I could have chilled a lot more. But yeah, the first time it was really awkward. So I was trying to sit in one of the, they have school chairs. So I tried to sit on it and then, I don't know, I spilled my fucking, yeah. I look, I had to go to the bathroom and to like literally put water on my jeans and try to get rid of it. It was very embarrassing. You see, every time I'm somewhere, I embarrass myself. You see, Teta ones, I kind of didn't get along with the servers and couldn't find the, couldn't find the cafe. <laughs> I'm um, really I like was embarrassing the fucking clerk and now here I am embarrassing myself. So, you know, I'm just, this is what it's like to live with an awkward person. And you know, the biggest liberation I've ever felt is me realizing that cringe is a concept I do not want to associate with. So now, you know, I embrace the cringe. I'm like, yeah, I'm fucking embarrassing. I'm a fucking awkward ass bitch. And that's what it is. It's life, you know, it is what it is. So anyways, so yeah, it was a really nice cafe. The drinks are also quite pricey, but honestly at this point I'm not surprised surprise uh it's a really really cute place too bad it's like really far but yeah i i i really liked it they also have a little terrace i didn't film it and i also took self a selfie with my friend in the mirror that uh off and gun smile took a picture in so anyway i just you know this these are the moments that make my fangirl self so fucking happy, you know? Like, I'm not saying I moved here just for that, but I'm also not complaining that this is happening, you know? Like, I'm making this shit happen. I'm very happy about it. So that was it for Last House on the Right. Overall, th those three places are so cute, so well decorated, and really, really, like, great places to go to. As a normal consumer, I would have been happy, but especially as a fan, they made me so fucking happy to be there. So yeah, that was it for today. I hope you enjoyed this small deal video i'll see you next time and have a great day